Fragrance number five is Cartier. Famous for watches, diamonds, things like that. And this one, if I'm pronouncing it right, is Declaration Low. Declaration Low? I don't know. Cartier, though. Mm. That's strange now. There you go. Oh, I'm, all I can smell is that other one. You'll smell that now. Oh, it's lemons. Lemons. But you know what? I, I don't like lemons normally, but after that, yeah, that's yeah, quite welcome refreshing. Change. Yeah, yeah. If anything, that's Ben, that is. I think you did position these quite well. It smells like refreshers. Okay, refresh, oh yeah. That's like a, a sweet in the UK. I don't know if you go out in America or around the world, but it's a sweet in the UK. I hate lemon. I hate citrus. I love this. This could go in. As to my knowledge, this is Ben's favourite. It's Annika's favourite. Way! I didn't I didn't tell her anything before the video. So that's good going, right? That's good going for a lemon one. Let's move Don't on. Do you can keep it with you if you want. Take that home. Right. My favourite. Number oh just to say the notes in that one were pink grapefruit, pink mm. pepper, and cedar. So, so we've got three notes. Lemon. Those are just three notes, apparently. So not lemon. Apparently not. Well, that's maybe that's why I liked it then, because I was my brain was like, oh, it's citrus, you don't like lemon. But I was like, yeah, I do, though. Yeah, I know. The next fragrance is by a house called Marlin Goetz, Goetz, and it's just called Bergamot. Ah. Oh. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Why do they keep putting bergamot in everything? It's the most popular ingredient in fragrances. This is a man, gardener. A gardener? So quite... Always outside, not in a good way. Because he, he got nothing else to do. Oh, it's dear me. What a shame. Why are you wearing Christmas socks? Um, Because I needed a pair of clean socks and you can be jolly any time of the year. In case you didn't hear that, you can be jolly any time of the year. There's no law on what, when you what can... words to live by. That's nice. Yeah. Admirable. Yeah. There's no there's no law that says you can wear Christmas things in July. That's right. Thanks, Richard. Cool. What do you think? It's gonna be such a long video. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> You know, it takes ages to upload, though. You don't have to upload it. Would you rather me be like, hey, it? Yeah, no, you it's... did with one of them. She was like, can't smell it. Shit. Um, yeah. I don't dislike it. I don't like it as much as refreshers. Refreshers. Not bad. Not bad. Malingoitz, whatever your name is. Not great, not bad. Okay. So the last fragrance that is of the designers and the niche and the, you know, the already fragrances, number seven, is by, how would you pronounce A-E-D-E-S? Aedes? A-E-D-E-S. Aedes oh, or Aedes? Aedes? I don't know. Anyway, this is called Copal Azure. I didn't take French. I have that one on my leg. You get mad at that though? No. Nope. I love perfume. I love perfume. It's this thing. I wish I was Southern. Yeah. Oh, I'd give anything. <laughs> love that. Uh, you like that? Yeah, yeah. I, this, this one I know nothing about. I don't think I've ever heard of the company. I don't know how much it costs. I'll try and put, you know, with each fragrance, I'll look it up and try and put it at the bottom of the video. But I know nothing about this fragrance. If I ever went to Egypt and it didn't smell like this, I would want my money back. That's why. <laughs> She's never been to Egypt. I don't know why. You just think it should That's smell. That's what I imagine the smell in the air to be like in Egypt. Cool. And if it wasn't, I'd be heartbroken. We gotta go and do that now, mind you know. Yeah. It's not gonna smell like that. Bridgman's on tour. Oh! <laughs> no one's kind of fragrance on tour. What do you think? Do you prefer it over refreshers? No. 
Ben, man. It's like your favourite fragrance is Annika's favourite fragrance. How cute. How adorable. How cute, though. Nice right. There we go. That's the seven of them. That's the seven. Those two, though, the, yeah. that one and... Egypt and Refreshes. Egypt and Refreshes. <laughs> um, yeah, let's have a smell of number eight. This one is called Homebrew at the moment, and this is his own creation. Um, again, be honest, that's what you would want. Do you know what's in it? I feel terrible because you did tell me and I didn't look it up before the video. <laughs> Sars. Sars. Pushed him under the bus. Loves a bus. So, again, be honest, what do you think? Oh. You're really going up in there, aren't you? Mm. Smells like the earth. It smells like the earth. Mm. In a good way or a, bad, or a bad way? In a good way. In a good way! Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. In the earth there is like... The like masculine earth, alive and strong. Yeah. <sighs> what does the word visceral mean? Oh, I don't. Yeah, real, isn't it? Okay. Does it mean just like real? Don't know. It just felt like oh, it no. was right to say. Heady? Is that what it means? I don't know. I'll look it up. A visceral experience is something that. No, what is it? I don't know. Don't know either. But. Considering he made that. Yeah. And he's not like a perfumer. You could be you could be like the secret perfumer for Dior. I don't know. Yeah, that's sick that is. It's good though, isn't it? Mm. I was a big fan. That was one of my favourites from the eight. I couldn't wear it because it's obviously masculine in my okay. eyes. I couldn't wear it. I need to know what's in it. What's that like and smell? Why are you asking me? It's the only one you care about, I don't have the information for. It's on the recording device. I'll let you know that. Yeah, love cool. that. Keep going, Ben. You're on the right track. Egypt, Refreshers, Homebrew. Annika's top three. Not Homebrew, it can't be kept called. What would you call it? What would you call it? it? You can call it Annika, um, you can give it a name. I don't. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a hold of this. What could it be called? Something to do with the earth, something to do with um well like what does let's find out what visceral earth means like no what what visceral means okay visceral earth possibly you know with my phone my dictionary visceral talk amongst yourselves yeah just uh saws oh visceral relating to the viscera Relating to deep inward feelings rather than the intellect. Visceral earth. Visceral earth. Or earthly visceral. Earthly that... visceral. No. Visceral earth. That's the name of your fragrance brand. Go for it. Transmite. Go forth. You can have that one for free. Go forth mate. and make that bottle up, kid. She's a fan. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah. thanks again. I'm going to do a few more little clips mm -hmm. with Annika. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. She loves hearing what you've got to say. Always. See you in a little bit.